welcome back to my doll collecting channel. Today I'm going to be opening a Maple Leaf doll that I bought off of Facebook and this one is super special and I can't wait to show you who she is and why she is super special and quite rare. You may have noticed that I have a new filming setup. If you have seen some of my previous videos, I have a new shelf and so um, it's not perfect yet. I still have to do some rearranging, but this is gonna be my new filming setup for the next little while. So this is what the box looks like on the inside. So you can see the one doll there. Um, I know that the dolls were gonna be shipped sitting down, but that's the only way they can fit in this box, but that's okay. So you know what, since she's on the top, let's pull her out. Let's see who this is. Oh, look at how wrapped she is in the plastic. As you can see, she has this on her body, which the seller said was like glue. So um, it, it feels like it's probably glue. So we're gonna have to tidy that up or figure out how to do that. Um, but this is a Maple Leaf friend. So this isn't one of the character dolls. This is one of the dolls that you could come up with your own story for. And oh, she has a little bit of a wonky eye, but that's okay. That's okay, I still love her. And she has some scratches, but probably need to wash her hair. But there is a reason why I wanted her. And that was because on the back of her neck, as you can see, or hopefully you can see, on the back of her neck, she is a first edition Maple Leaf Friend from 2012. This is, so with the codes for Maple Leaf dolls, they have a code that is lighter, I don't know if it's gonna come up on camera, that doesn't have any color to it, and that is the first generation of Maple Leaf. I don't know what this one says here, but on the regular dolls it says 2003-1, that means the first batch of dolls, and then they'll say the year, and then the batch of doll they are made for that specific character. So for this one, it says 2012-1. So this is the first generation of Maple Leaf Friends. I'm surprised that I don't remember Maple Leaf Friends from 2012, so like, I was still collecting Maple Leaf and stuff in 2012, and I don't remember the release of Maple Leaf Friends. But um, yeah, maybe I was out of it. I don't know. I don't know. But this is a first edition Maple Leaf Friend. She is KMF3, so the third Maple Leaf Friend, and she has brown hair and brown eyes. And then let's pull out the second doll. And I want you to guess. Maybe I'll have it in the title of who she is. But this one is a character doll, and I don't know if people can guess. If you're a Maple Leaf fan, you're probably going to know who she is. And that is Alexi. She looks so cute. And hopefully I was right. Okay. This is, there's a reason why I wanted this version of Alexi. Her legs are really loose, but that's okay. Because... Fans of Maple Leaf might recognize that this is her first outfit that she had. So this when Maple Leaf was first released, this was the outfit that she came with. And okay, look at what generation she is. Hopefully this comes up on camera because it's so cool. As you can tell, she is a second generation Alexi doll. So I would love to have a first generation Maple Leaf doll preferably Taryn, because Taryn was my first, um, first 18 inch doll ever. She started this whole 18 inch doll craze. And I would love to have a first generation, but a second generation is so close. Now, I think I mentioned in one of my previous videos, the garage sale videos, that I found a Brienne at a garage sale who was second generation, but she needed a lot of work. Um, but this doll is in fantastic condition and she is a Lexi. And she was actually my second favorite Maple Leaf doll when I, first got into Maple Leaf when I saw them in the catalog, I remember my parents being like, okay, if we can't get Taryn, who do you want instead? And I said, Alexi, because I thought she looked similar to Taryn. And I liked Taryn because she was a doll that looked like me, because she had brown hair, and she didn't have blue eyes, but like I do, but she had brown hair, and I was like, if I can't get Taryn, I'll get Alexi. Whoa, that was spun around. I didn't realize she was that close to my face. She scared me a little bit there, a little bit of a jump scare. Her eyes are really intense, which is awesome, but, she definitely has that look that I remember from the catalogs from back in the day. Her hair, I need to wash it a little bit, I think, but it's in really good condition, especially for a doll this old.
I also bought a whole bunch of clothes from the seller and some of them are full outfits and some of them are some pieces from different outfits that I can mix and match and use with other things. I also have one item that is such a hard to find item that if you've been following this channel and following my Maple Leaf collecting journey, you know that I sold some of my Maple Leaf items when I was a teenager. Stupid decision, I don't know why I did that. Um, but I've been trying to repurchase those items and this one was the hardest. I still have one more thing that I need to find in order to repurchase the Maple Leaf collection I had when I was a child. Um, but I found this key thing, the cool cargoes outfit. So this but it has the journal pages, which is like awesome, but I'm pretty sure I still have the journal pages. Um, and they still have the plastic thing, so, or the paper thing, so that's really cool. Yeah, cool cargoes, fantastic. This is the shirt. I feel like this is brand new. I don't think it's ever, like, I don't think mine was in this good condition, to be honest. And to be honest, I bought it, I got it when I was eight years old, so that's probably why. But, like, it's this beautiful coral color. So nice. And then these pants, so cute. Now, I remember being a kid, and I took this thing out and, like, put it back in and, like, you know, but sometimes I would tie this in her hair as like a headband, um, but then I would put it back on the pants too. So, so cool. And it has these little shorts here and it's this kind of like navy, not, it was a navy green, but I don't think it's a color. Um, but like a dark olive green, like an army green. So cute. And I'm so glad I have it back in my collection. The seller was also selling Alexi's journal. Um, so I'm excited to see this. Just as you can see, it has little drawings and it looks like a journal okay this is just the loose pieces um that are technically part of part of larger sets but i thought i would mix and match them because i'm always mix and matching with my modern girls especially so i have another copy of sila's meat not meat sorry i just did my biggest pet peeve which with american girl dolls it's called a meat outfit with maple Lee dolls is called a starter outfit which is the outfit they come with and I have another starter shirt for Sila, um, but I got this one because I, a lot of my dolls like Grace, um, which is an American girl, you know, she loves pink and so does Brienne, loves pink. So I got another copy of just a pink t-shirt um, and she was selling this for a couple bucks. So I was like, I will snag that up. And this shirt, I forget what the name of Brienne's outfit is, but I'll show it on the screen. And it's just a pink sweater. And I just got it because I, again, need long sleeve shirts. Um, like white, I love a black one, but I have two white ones that I use all the time. So I thought a pink one might be work too. Um, it won't go with everything, but it might relieve some of the use that I have for the two white ones that I have in my collection. Um, so some more dolls can wear this and maybe add, you know. And I love how it kind of has this um is it called ribbon or what is it called rib ribbed rib? i don't know what this is called but you can see it kind of has this knit effect to it and it's just pink and it's cute and i think brianne will really appreciate this and i would love the other outfit that it comes with and even if i did purchase that outfit that this normally comes with i think it's good to have this anyways because i always need just plain basic shirts this hoodie i feel like a lot of people are going to like and um it is uh this white hoodie um that says canadian girl and then this hood has maple leaves in it so that is so cute and then you can zip and zip down the hoodie this is part of a larger set that came with red track pants um i knew i wanted this because i'm like this is just a cute piece and i didn't like, of course, I recognized it as Maple Leaf, but I didn't recognize what outfit it was from specific, specifically. And it has this red Maple Leaf on it, too. But I was like, it would look so cute during around Canada Day. Um, and I did dress my dolls for Canada Day and Independence Day because um, I'm American Girl. So I dressed them both because Independence Day in the United States is the 4th of July and Canada is the 1st of July. So they're like a few days apart. So, okay, this is another iconic, this is iconic Maple Leaf stuff. And I really wanted this. And this was, I almost bought this a few times as a kid because I would save all my money and then we would pick it up from the new market. It was like curbside pickup way before curbside pickup was like a thing. And you can hear my dishwasher going in the background. So if you can hear water running, 
Sorry, y'all. I don't feel like stopping it. Normally I would stop it, stop it, but we're not stopping it today, honey. So I almost bought this a few times because it was a fairly affordable price, but it was this blue shirt. And this was just what it came with. So you either could buy the shirt and the cap and they were separate, you sold separately, but you could also buy ones that the girls could wear. It says Maple Lee, these little uh, leaves on it. Um, so cute, can't wait to put this on one of my dolls. Very, and that's a nice blue, and blue was my favorite color back in the day. And then we have this matching shirt, and if you zoom in, it says Maple Lee on the little logo down there. So this is so exciting. Can't wait to put this on one of my dolls. I'm so glad that I have this in my collection now. Oh, yeah, so cute. Now, I know I'm probably gonna get a comment on this because I always get a comment on this on my Maple Lee videos. And is it pronounced Maple Lee or Maple Lea? Yeah. It's pronounced Maple Lee, and that's official from the social media, the website, the catalogs, everything from Maple Lee. There's different ways to describe it. So, like, it's like Maple Leaf, but without the F. So, it's Maple Leaf, like you're about to say leaf and you don't. Um, the, I've heard just the A is silent. Think about, you know, the A just not being there. Um, so Maple Lee is how it's properly pronounced. Who doesn't love a good pair of shoes? So I got these shoes too, and these were a good price. I don't know if these are still available on the Maple Lee website. They might be. Um, and it is these walking in moccasins and they're just these little cute shoes. So adorable. Um, these were again another really great price, but also I feel like they would go with a lot. Sila might like wearing these. Taryn might like wearing these. Now we're moving on to the more Alexi specific items. This is another iconic Maple Lee outfit, and that is uh, I want to say Fantastic Gymnastics. Is this what it's called um, from Alexi's collection? So this is like a leotard there. I think that was called, I don't do gymnastics, but I got it because I remember seeing this in the catalog and it's so iconically purple. Comes with a matching scrunchie, so maybe uh, Courtney from the 1980s American Girl will wear this. Um, share it sometimes. And then look at this little bag. Look at this little gym bag for the um, Maple Leaf Girls. Like again, iconic. Now, I remember one other thing I like Maple Leaf is that they had a lot of like outfits that were like, you know, sports or dance or like, you know, things like activities that girls would do. Um, Taryn having a skating set that looks similar to this, and I would love to have that skating set in my collection. That's probably why I bought this, because I really want the skating set, but it is hard to find. This is a Maple Lee box from the early 2000s. As you can see, it's this light blue. I saw a video where somebody posted, like, a new Maple Lee unboxing, and the boxes look darker. Now, it could have just been their video. Maybe they had color correction, and then it just changes the, um, the color of the Maple Lee boxes, like a medium blue. I wouldn't say it's a dark blue, wouldn't say it's a light blue, but it's kind of in between there. Um, but that's exciting that I got another one of these. This is what it looks like. Let's open it up and I'll show you what I got. Oh, look, it still has the paper. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. And oh my God, does it have the journal page? No, it does not. but that's okay. That is totally okay. Journal pages are not a requirement for me to have Maple Leaf outfits. Okay, so this is Alexi's bathing suit. As you can tell, we're very early 2000s. It has this kind of wrap around too. Flip flop kind of things, these sandals. So cute, very like Lizzie McGuire, uh, which I used to love Lizzie McGuire as a kid, not because I ever watched the show, but because I just, I don't know, I saw Lizzie McGuire and like just in stores and I just love the concept of Lizzie McGuire. Almost very 2010s as well. Like remember those neon swimsuits from like the 2010s, 2014 era? And this is the last thing, but this is arguably one of the most iconic things. It's an interesting name, but you might recognize it from this logo here. Handkerchief, head, scarf, thingy. Don't know what this is called, but it was very popular in the early 2000s. And yeah, it has a little Canada logo on it. Next we have this tank top, which I had tank tops similar to this um, in the early 2000s. At least I remember seeing them and it just kind of wraps around in the back and then you tie this around the neck. Um, and it's just this orange iconic color there. So cute. Um, 
And then it comes with these shorts. But the thing about these shorts, again, very early 2000s, is you can Velcro on the leggings to make them pants. So that's so cool and exciting. Um, the material is kind of quite thin for what I'm expecting, but again, this is like a summer outfit, so I guess that makes sense. But again, I remember seeing this outfit in the catalog and being like, that's so realistic, and I see people wearing stuff like this all the time. Like, back in the early 2000s, very trendy. <laughs> like, I feel like um, Maple Leaf stuff ages really well because it's so trendy and iconic for the early 2000s. So that has been my Maple Leaf haul. I'm so glad that Alexi is in my collection. And whenever I decide to name this girl, maybe I will name her Diana, even though I don't have... She doesn't have black hair um, because I think in the books she's described as having like raven black hair. So um, she might just be Diana anyways or if you can think of some other iconic Canadian literary character, leave it in the comment section below um, because I think I'll keep American characters or characters that are just, you know, like general characters with American Girl and then if they're Canadian specific, have them as a Maple Leaf. Uh, Maple Leaf doll. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more Maple Leaf videos, I do have a Maple Leaf playlist on my channel so you can watch all my unboxings and views and anything related to Maple Leaf in that playlist. I'll probably have it linked in the description box below or in the comment or some somewhere. Um, if you want to see more Maple Leaf videos or doll collecting videos in general, make sure to hit subscribe because I post at least once a week. Also make sure to follow my Instagram. Thank you so much for watching and let me know who your favorite Maple Leaf character is. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.